is going to want to keep him. I mean, based on all the stuff he's going through and just the conversations we've had about kids in the past. Come on, Miss Adam. Wait a minute. Are you telling me this man don't know? Mm-mm. You the first person I told. Mika, knowing what you know about birth control and condoms and plan B, you still pregnant? Kim, please. Don't Kim please me. I didn't get you in this situation. And you knowing that he's not ready and everything he's going through, you shouldn't have laid down with him. And on top of it, you let him go and you wrong? Look, I didn't come over here for this. I know you didn't. And I'm already stressed. Of course you are. So what I need is your support and for you to be a friend. And I will be. But you still got to make a decision. So what are you going to do? You have two options. You can keep it or not. You don't keep it. That's a decision you won't have to live with for the rest of your life. Either way, I'm going to have to live with it for the rest of my life. It is. But it's your body. And regardless of what he thinks or what he wants you to do, you have to make a decision. Because no man can make a decision for your body. I know. This is going to be a hard decision. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a hard decision. Look, Mika. I can sit here and tell you all day what you should have done. But the fact is, you're still pregnant. <laughs> but once you tell him and you break that news to him, if he start clowning, we're going to have to call him the truth. Because we'll break his faith. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mel. <laughs> but I got your back. I know you do. You know what I am? I love you. So what you gonna do? I don't know. You should have been using birth control. You should have been using condoms. You gotta get rid of it. How is that so easy for you to say? Easy? Well, we're not married. It's not financially feasible. We're not ready to have a kid. Especially when we're not stable. Brian, everybody who has a kid is not ready. We can find a way to make it work. Fuck them. I'm talking about me. Fuck you. Shh. It's always about you. Do you even care about how I feel? The baby's within me. Look, we, we can't have a kid right now. Not with everything that I'm wanting to do. That I'm planning to do. It'll bring it all to a stop. Again, everything that you're wanting to do. Everything you're planning to do. What do you think about me? Oh, this is just perfect for me, huh? I don't have any goals and no plans with my life, right? Look, then you just said it. Okay, it wouldn't be a good time for us to have a kid. I did not say that. What I'm saying is if I decide to have this baby, we'll find a way to make it work. You will find a way to make it work yourself. It was real easy for you to lay up in between my legs. But you can't bear the responsibility that resulted from it. You know what? You ain't shit. I wanted to let you know I was pregnant. And to be honest, abortion is an option. But it's not my first option. I'm going to do what I got to do with or without you. Oh, 
Oh, so my opinion don't count now, huh? It matters. But ultimately, it's my body. We have a boy named him Brian Jr. We have a girl named her Anastasia. Gotcha. 